Is there an easy way to figure out how much black powder you need to do a dual deployment ejection on a rocket? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry, building techniques, and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Previously, I did a video on how to figure out the amount of black powder you need to do an ejection on a dual deployment rocket. And unfortunately, it was a long video and it required math. And people don't like doing math. And so people wondered, is there an easier way to figure out how much black powder you need? Now, I do recommend that you watch that video because it explains a lot of the basic concepts. What I want to go over now is the simplified method. And since I made that video, a lot of things have changed. Basically, we have created a new tool for you that will do that ejection charge calculation really fast and easy. And it's in the RockSim software. So if you have the RockSim software, just uh, you need version 11 because that's the version that has it. Um, and there is a free demo that you can use for 30 days and it will do the ejection charge calculators for you. So here um, I have that rocket that we've just uh, looked at uh, called the Peregrine. And I want to look at it in 2D. So I'm going to click the 2D button here. And previously we figured out um, the ejection charge in that last video on how much was needed to pressurize this section of the rocket right here. So now the new way of doing this is to go to the rocket menu and then just choose ejection charge calculator from there. And it will bring up a side view of the rocket just like we just saw. And to figure out how much you, uh, black powder you need, you just click on the tube, start the process by clicking on the tube. And now we're going to adjust the volume. And it's really easy to do. You just uh, move the cursor over the edge and then just click and drag um, until you get the volume that you need. So I'm going to um, do this. Uh, in, the, in the previous video, we were about 10 inches long. Um, so here's approximately 10 inches long. And so that's the volume that we're going to pressurize. And basically, um, in, the, in that previous video, we specified um, an internal pressure of 10 PSI. So I'm just going to move the slider to 10 PSI right here. And it automatically calculated the required black powder. We're already done. Here's the answer, 0.62 grams. Um, if you have shear pins, say we put in three shear pins, and I'm going to just add three shear pins, and it's a number two nylon screw like we talked about in that other video. Um, bam, now we got 0.95 grams of black powder. <laughs> it's that fast. Um, you're just basically you're just adjusting this size and then just reading off the results. Um, over here on this side uh, gives you a little bit more information, you know, like the length of the, the tube being pressurized, the body tube diameter, and the internal volume of that, um, that area right there, that gray shaded area. Um, so if you wanted to do a different tube in the rocket, you would just click on that other tube. Again, adjust the length. So I'm gonna go here to the front bulkhead and then on this end, I'm going to go all the way up to this bulkhead right there. Um, and, you know, and if I don't have any shear pins, I'll take the shear pins out. Oops, I readjusted here. Um, I selected a new tube. There's so many tubes in this rocket that I'm just adjusting too many. Okay, so now I need on this one... 1.03 grams of black powder. So it's really easy using Roxim to find out the amount of black powder you need to pressurize for dual deployment. Again, watch that previous video because it also talks about how much black powder is in a rocket motor itself. And you might need to add additional black powder if you have a big rocket with a small rocket motor. 
So you've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. My name again is Tim Van Milligan. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. So may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.